Hello, the internet. Ah, this week I have posted up on PeterAllenLab.com with a new comic. This is loosely based on a true story, or at least a true conversation I had with my wife. She's very funny, and I like to take a little note of the things she says on occasion, and then hire someone to create a series of numbers that are represented as colors that are then displayed on our screens as a comic. We call these people artists. And this one has made a, a very good representation of, of this little conversation. Though, uh, I will say that they took some liberties with the outfits. <laughs> My doctor prescribed these eye drops, but I hate them. Will you torture me and put them in? Sure, okay. Safe for it is banana. Yeah, put it right in my eye. Do your worst. Ow, ow, ow! Banana, I wasn't ready! This week I have gone down a bit of a research rabbit hole on a topic called interleukin-6. Interleukin-6 is a biochemical released by cells in order to modify inflammation, among other things. It, it never ceases to amaze me just how big science is. I love science. It makes me very happy to have the chance to study it professionally, but man, it's just really overwhelming sometimes. I was trying to think of a analogy and the best I could come up with was the Mandelbrot set. You don't have to know anything about the math behind this, just that it's a fractal and it goes very, very deep. What do I mean by that? I mean, let's use it as an analogy. Like if you take one chunk of it and you say, this, this Mandelbrot set represents all of human knowledge and this little chunk over here, that represents biology, we'll say. It's a big chunk of human knowledge, but not all of it. And obviously it's a very large subject. But if you take a piece of that large subject, like let's just say the immune system, not all creatures have the same kind of immune system that we do. Certainly single-celled organisms don't have the same kind of immune system that we do. So it's not like this is all biology, it's just a tiny piece. And yet if you zoom in on it, you'll find that it has as much complexity as the original. So you say, well, let's zoom in farther. Let's look at, uh, let's look at just cell signaling molecules. That's a tiny piece of immunology. But if you zoom in on that, you'll find there are thousands of them and their relationship with each other and with the immune system in general is crazy complicated. Cells turning on other cells that inhibit other cells that all have a complex network of decision-making molecules inside themselves. Thousands of genes involved. And all of that is just one tiny part of the immune system, just the signaling molecules. And if you zoom in even farther, you say, oh, okay, well, let's just look at one signaling molecule. Let's just look at interleukin-6, this one molecule. And you just say, well, wait, what's the shape of the molecule? How does it interact with its, with its receptor? What kind of small molecule drugs could we use to change that? Well, now you've got to know some structural biochemistry and small molecule synthetic organic chemistry and you have to know the kind of physical techniques to analyze the thing so that even that one molecule to study it is crazy complicated and if we then zoom all the way back out every little lobe of this great construct we call science is that complicated it all goes that deep and I think about that, and, and it's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's... <laughs> I regret that I have but one life to give for science. <laughs> and yeah, when I think about that, that makes me a little happy. So anyway, thanks for tuning in on this rainy walk. Thinking about science. We will see you all next time.